Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Today we are doing Happy Bokka. So we kind of want to bring bombs by the way. We should bring bombs. I almost forgot. <laughs> Take out bombs, large barrel bomb plus, and some large barrel bombs. That should be enough. So, Hyperbocca isn't that hard, but the first time you're facing, he can be pretty hard. It can be pretty hard the first time you're facing. So. Let's see how this goes. I kinda want to bring uh, bombs, as I said, uh, to feed him with when he does a. He does like a. swimming attack. I will tell you and you will see. I will tell you when he does it and you will see how to do this because you can fish him up from the sand and get a couple of free strikes. I think that um, I think that fire actually works on this guy. I am not entirely sure. Hmm, it have worked fine for me all other times so it should probably do that now as well let's eat some rations he is in area 9 8 or 10 i actually think he start in area 10 so let's drink yeah i both i also brought along uh, demon drag and armor skin you make those by uh, doing a catalyst and combining them with might seed or armor seed you will get those hot drink because we are entering the hot areas. That dinosaur! No, I'm not gonna waste time on it. I really want to beat that one up. So you can see those sand piles here and um, you will be able to see which one he is in. Those are fake. He is probably at area 10, I think that is where he is and we will get an animation the first time we fight him. Yes, this is where he is. So, it's a digging monster. And I am not sure where to hit him actually, I think everywhere is fine. You want an as sharp weapon as possible. And uh, just bash him all over until he dies. If you if you have problem with him, it's pretty easy to kill him with uh, ice. He is sensitive to ice, and um, you could do that with a bow. It's pretty easy with, to shoot. Uh. Okay, so this is pretty much what you do. Kind of. Do on um, he had, he have gills gills I don't know how to pronounce that he have that and he will do an attack with them I think no nope, not doing that right now it's pretty large oh my god I think this is actually could this be like a silver crown sure he's I think this is a bit larger than usually face we will see at the end of this video you cannot block the sand that is spits out through his mouth or gills i am not sure where to hit him to be honest maybe the gills you can you can like break his he has an organ in his mouth that you can break but it is hard to break it Okay, so that is when it spits sand. It does a, another one as well. 
we kind of turn around and 180 degrees at the same time you want to stay behind him when he do that mm, should do the gills now probably no this is the attack where he will kind of spin 180 degrees so just keep hitting him okay now my weapon is no that's the gills then no it wasn't I got confused I need to sharpen my weapon you probably won't give me that much time to do that You can see where he is because he, he kind of pushes his uh, sand in front of him. When you pull him up by... Uh, uh, I will show you that, but when you pull him up he can do a special attack after a while which hurt a lot. It can probably one shot you. Mm, I I should put a paintball on him. I haven't done that. Mm, he is easy. This is where he eats. He kinda ooh, hunt a Renopolis and eat that. Like he did now. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and show you. Do you see that? thing in his mouth as an organ that may enables him to spit uh, sand. If you break that he can no longer spit sand. Okay. We haven't done the yield attack yet. It's strange, you usually do that a lot. Okay, this is when you want to put a bomb down. Preferably a large bomb plus. <laughs> and bam, he will blow up. There, now you can fish him up by pushing circle. And that will give you a bunch of free attacks. If you don't bounce like I do probably go a lot better. Mm, a lot of bouncing. Do not like. I'm gonna sharpen my weapon again. And my god, oh he missed. <laughs> Where is he? Where did he go? Okay, he does. He also do this, he kinda jump up. Uh, that is his most hard hitting attack. That's the one when he come up under. That's the Jills! Nope. God, he kinda tricks me a lot. And. I do not know why they start attack as soon as there is a monster around. It's very annoying. He's going to do the attack where he's bit. No, he's doing the swimming attack or what it is called. I'm gonna try to feed him a bomb. We can kind of steer him in on it a bit because he's homing in on you. If you don't fish him up in time, if you fail. He will hit you real hard, very hard. leaving I saw a shine somewhere here it's um, 
if you do not have a powerful enough weapon this guy will be horrible to fight he will just bounce the entire time so you want to upgrade your weapon before you do this one after that he is easy just keep your weapon sharp and keep hitting him don't need any Oh, he is huge! Oh my god, this is a large hyperbocker. I'm not sure how to how to use the sonic bombs on him. I think I have made it a couple of times, but not sure. So he's doing the attack where he's. Yeah, this is this kind of swimming attack where you want to push a bomb down. Come see, come see. Oh. Ah, I jumped right into him. I'm not sure if it's gonna blow. It works better with large barrel bombs. Plus. Okay, that is the chill attack. Nope. Nope. He just refused to do that. I'm not really complaining, I'm just confused. He like do it all the time. Okay, so that attack is bad. You got to watch out a bit for that. It's pretty fast and keep your health up as well. If you get hit by one of his large hitting attacks. You should go three times. <laughs> okay, so now you kind of want to hit him in the mouth. Oh, damn, the fish did it. It was the fish, so that's the attack I have been talking about. Ouch, you kind of want to break that organ in its mouth, but it's hard. It's much easier with a bow. If you use a, a kind of gun or a bow, I just got to run to him here. Because he is good fire. If you are using that and when he runs to you, you can just shoot him in the mouth and he will kind of get off track and be very easy to. Damn fish! Uh, it will be very easy to avoid. sharpen my weapon a bit here. Yeah, he is also immune to pitfall trap, so do not bring, try to trap him in a pitfall trap. It is useless. Okay, so it seems to be like a large barrel bomb plus is what's working the best. Mm -hmm. I am not sure why. Might be dependent on damage. He should have been taking uh, pretty much damage about now. He isn't very hard. The ration, yeah, one more ration. I'm gonna try the sonic bombs and see what happens. When he did that... Not there either. Sand? No. Nope. Nope. I 
have no idea how to use those. I am sorry, I tried actually. I did try. Okay, this is when he limps, it, kind of, it looks kind of funny, but this is how it looks, he does sleep at 11, so we are going to capture him, because I like to capture monsters, it is easier and it goes faster and you get better rewards, so it's only plus, I kind of want to can see about now where he is right now that's where he's sleep and he goes to sleep pretty fast so he might actually be asleep already yes and this is how easy it is to capture Hamburger Boca so there is time here somewhere I can see it I can see the low on dung. It's important to collect dung, dung uh, because farming is so much easier with it. Uh, getting a lot this time. Uh, what else? We should be able to mine somewhere around here. I'm not that familiar with kind of farming here. There, I think you can mine here. And probably a lot of more places. Ice crystal, that's funny. We are in the desert. Okay, so I have upgraded the farm. I got the mining point and the hand behind I think you saw that apart from that I haven't done anything else and I need to farm some points so I should really start doing that <laughs> nope wasn't a silver crown just a huge one So that was Happerbocka, it's very easy if you do it right, the first time you face him might be a bit hard, actually I had a lot of problems with it the first time. Let's see what we will do next, and I might have to grind some off screen. What should we do? Hmm. Not the cure pick, two Varsoros. Do you really want to see that? It's, a, it's just two bears instead of one. I could do that. And um, yeah, we do have the Great Buggy, the Giginox, Tula, Gombi. Don't need to show that. Don't need to show that. That we will show. Do not, do not need that one. And that one. Okay, so I do not know what we will do next time, but we will decide that then. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please comment, rate and subscribe.